Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I also want to go ahead and talk about Chloe. And this situation really hit home to me because when I tried to have this conversation a few years ago, I was attacked and drugged. So we're going to listen to what Chloe um, is going through on the show. She's talking about the whole surrogate situation and how she's scared that she may not have a strong of connection with her new baby. I don't even know the new baby name, to be honest with you. All I know is true. I don't know if this one's name is Talcum or I don't know. I know it starts with a T um, and how she feels strange that somebody else carried this baby. So I, we're going to watch it. Because again, when I had this conversation a few years ago, I got drugged. And now it's, you know, now it's a mainstream conversation. Now that the Kardashians are having the conversation, now it's, oh, but when I had it, oh, I got cussed out for even questioning surrogacy. I was crazy. I had two kids. I had no business being in the discussion. Put a teacup if y'all remember that. They drugged the hell out of me when I did that surrogacy live stream. And I was just asking honest questions, you know, because, you know, shit, I want another baby. I don't know if I'm be able to have one though, because you know what I'm saying I've been through a lot of shit right now. You know, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm shaking and moving. I got a lot of stuff to, you know, got time to be sitting here big and praying. I done lost 20 pounds. I don't want to gain 60 having a child. Anyways, let me start the video. <laughs> We're gonna watch Chloe, Coco. Sorry, get processed. Kim knows it's really hard for me. What was that mean? She had a really hard time accepting the whole process. Oh, got it. To my it's really the right, weirdest I thing. I that do that think that there is a difference. When the baby is in your belly, the baby actually feels your real heart. Think about it. Right. It like touches your organ. Like it's feel there's no one else on this planet that will feel you from the inside like that. Like your heart, you know? <laughs> I got so many good chances. People can connect in different ways. People so could not connect. Do you feel less connected? Mm hmm That'll take a minute. Yeah, people say I mean, listen, but the other was said 10 hers, months of hers walking was around. Like, easy. This is not easy. I definitely, like, buried my head in the sand during that pregnancy that I didn't digest what was happening. And so I think when I went to the hospital, I really think that was the first time that really registered. And it has nothing to do with the baby. It's just, you're like, okay, we're having a baby and this is my son and I'm taking him home with me. I definitely was in a state of shock, I think, from my entire experience in general. Oh, 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 don't stop, don't stop. I felt really guilty that like this woman just had a, my baby and you're just, I take the baby and then I go to another room and you're sort of separated. Like, I felt it's such a transactional experience because it's not about him. I wish someone was honest about surrogacy and the difference of it, but it doesn't mean it's bad or good. It's still great. All right, let me come on the screen here. So y'all heard what Miss Chloe had to say. So let me say this. Um, like I said, I try to have this conversation almost, I think, Three, maybe four years ago. Put a teacup if y'all remember when I did the live stream about the surrogacy. Put a teacup if y'all remember. Um, and I wasn't trying to come from like a hurtful place. Um, there was a lot of hurt feelings. People was emailing me, going off on me. But I had like real questions because again, you know, I get the whole freezing your eggs and, but I, I, first let me say this. I'm really happy that somebody with a way bigger platform than me who has, you know, gone through this whole surrogacy journey is being honest and asking real honest questions because those were the questions that I had and I was attacked because in the history of man, you've never ever been able to take your egg or a fertilized egg and put it in your homegirl's uterus or whoever's uterus, right? This is a modern thing. 
when, you know, back in the day, if you couldn't have children, you just couldn't have children. You either adopted, you were a foster parent, or you were just that auntie with no kids and everybody else was your child, right? All your nieces and nephews and neighbors' kids. So for me, I was asking back then, like, is this a good thing? Is this normal? Like, what does God think about this? Like, is this something that we're supposed to be doing? And it's not to knock anybody at all. But I just had legitimate questions because I didn't understand it. You know, and I was even asking if this is my egg and my husband's sperm, but it's being cultivated in another human being's body. That's in that person's essence. Does that affect the child's soul? Does that affect the way the child is developing? You know, these are crucial moments. Is that child going to take on some of that surrogate's DNA? You know, their blood, you know, their heartbeat, like Kim was saying. Will it be a situation where when that baby's born, what if I don't connect with it because that baby didn't grow inside my belly? Will that, will that connection with that baby be different from the two boys that I carried? You know, like these were real questions. And I was like really attacked. Like it, it really made me sad because I was not trying to disrespect anybody who didn't have children. Like I understand like the whole fertility thing is a very sensitive issue for women, you know, but I wasn't trying to come from that place. I was coming as a woman who really had genuine questions. And I don't know why people got so upset. And their whole thing was, well, you already have kids, so it's easy for you to judge. But I wasn't judging. I was. I really had genuine questions. And so when I see Chloe saying this, I, I'm so happy because these were the questions I had. Because again, my kids are getting grown. Y'all see my kids, you know, the my baby's about to be a senior next year. You know, so it's like they're living their life. They'll eventually move out. And I mean, yeah, I could get a dog, but I don't do pets. I don't, you know, I got to walk it and pick up poop and feed it. I don't know. I don't, I have no idea how to take care of a dog, but I know how to take care of children. I'm a good mom. You know, so I'm like, I would love to have another kid, but also, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to carry a baby full term, you know, just, you know, with health issues, you know, it can be a lot plus as you get older. So yeah, that, those were real questions I had. Somebody said, get a robot pet. Uh Uh-uh. We're not going to do that, Alexandria. (laughs) (laughs) a robot pet you know there will be one in the future but yeah like these are legit questions and so that's the thing and even and I noticed even with Kim I watch her kids closely but I think I look at her kids from a different point of view than most people most people watch them for like their fashion how cute they are I'm looking for signs of is there any difference with shy and Psalm? versus Northwest and Saint. I don't know if I'm the only one who does that, but I'm trying to see like, is there a difference? Is there a different connection? Do they act different from the other two? Are their personalities more different? Am I the only one who does that when I look at Kim's kids? Because they're all beautiful children, but I'm, I'm looking to see like, are there different personalities because they were carried in the womb of a black woman? Versus these two that were carried in the womb of Kim Kardashian, a white woman. Because even the race thing, you know, is that going to be different? Are these kids going to have more, a little bit more soul, a little bit more flavor? Because the surrogate was a black woman that carried those last two children versus the, these two. So other people do that too. Okay, I thought it was just me. And so people are saying Northwest is her favorite. You know, I don't know, you know, is she closer to Northwest because she carried Northwest? You know, it's hard to when you're dealing with like, you know, multiple kids, four and up, it's hard, you know, because it was four of us. It's hard for parents to show equal time and love to each child. And sometimes by the time it gets to the youngest, they're just wiped out, you know, because they have to do so much with the oldest. So, but yet I, I, I do, like when I watch them and I see them post pictures and I see the kids interacting, I'm always looking for like different quirks, you know, because that's what I think. Like if I was to use a surrogate or something in the future, would this kid be totally different than my kids? Like, would this kid be into sports? Like how we're into sports, you know what I mean? Like you, you know what I mean? Like if it's a boy, like we're going to get you into basketball, football, but what if the mom is not into sports? You know, so and I get it. You know, it's also how you raise the kids. But I also feel like it's something spiritual. I do, because pregnancy is a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual act. And like I said before, before this technology, this was never an option. You were never able to carry a baby for somebody else. 
you know, and people can say, well, it's no different than being a foster parent or an adoptive parent. But when it's like an adoption situation, you know that you didn't carry that child. You know, most likely the child knows that you didn't carry that child. I just I really love the fact that this is, you know, being discussed, you know, because before it's like you couldn't ask questions because women who don't have children or, you know, who've been trying to get pregnant would get so offended. Um, Because I, like I said, I was very shocked about the, the backlash I got from that live. I think I ended up even making the live private. And I was like, I'm never going to touch that topic again because people were so offended. But I was asking legitimate questions. And I'm, I'm just really happy to see Chloe be honest that it was very transactional because do you want to you know, still keep in touch with the surrogate. No, I don't, you know, I'm taking my baby and I'm going off to raise it. And like she said, it was weird because now you have to put the baby on your chest like you just gave birth, but it's not the same thing. It's not the same as pushing for, you know, six hours, being in labor for 24 hours and crying. And, you know, it's it's not the same. You're coming in with makeup and your hair done and the baby like, yeah, I just gave birth. That's not the same thing. It's just not, they're just keeping it real. It's not. And I'm glad that she was very honest about that. And she was scared. Like, I don't feel like the connection yet. And Kim is saying that she felt her connection right away. Whereas Chloe's saying she doesn't feel the connection right away with Talcum or whatever. What's the boy's name? Yeah. Like I said, there's so much of a non-connection. I don't even know this baby's name. What's his name? I know it starts with a T. Talum, Talcum. Somebody write it in the chat. I don't know this child. Tristan. I know it starts with a T. Tatum. Oh, <laughs> what I call baby talcum powder? Tatum. Okay, Tatum. Baby Tatum. Like I said, they don't even talk about the baby. You know, so you is that because that connection is not there? Because we knew she wouldn't shut up about True. Look at my True. Remember True had all them filters on? True had pictures every five minutes. And I don't see this Tatum baby. Somebody call the baby Titanium. <laughs> I don't, I don't see this baby at all. So I'm just like, what's going on with this baby? Because she's not posting this baby like she did the other one. So I, I, I just, I like the fact that she's being very open and honest. Um, again, there's absolutely not, nothing wrong with surrogacy. You know, if you can afford it and you can find a good person. But I think there also has to be, you know, people shouldn't get offended by everything, especially by honest questions. And I think that that question about, Will you have a connection to that child that was not in your womb, you know, even though they share the same DNA, quote unquote, as their siblings, you know, will that child, you know, pick up different traits and mannerisms? Because again, when it's an adoption, there's no DNA connection. You know that that's a child who was born of, you know, different parents, right? So, you know, they're going to have their own personality, their own DNA, their own quirks. But it's very different with this surrogacy thing. It really is. So I appreciate her for being open and honest with that because, you know, those are questions I have. So I, I thought that was good. I, I really enjoyed that part of it. So I will tune into that particular episode to see how it finishes. And the man that was in there talking with Scott, somebody asked with that Scott, that was Scott in there. Because as we know, you know, Tristan, he's a part-time he's a part -time daddy. So Tristan was nowhere in the conversation. You would think he'd have been there being that he, you know, it was his sperm used to make baby Tatum. You know, but Tristan wasn't there. It was, it was Scott um, having the conversation with them. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.